externally rotate through the humerus to widen the arms out to the side and pull the straps backwards. Allow the humerus to rotate back to parallel, returning the straps back in front of you. Exhale to externally rotate, feeling a slight retraction through the shoulder blades. Inhale to return the arm bones back to parallel. Keep the rib cage stable as you rotate through the arms, maintaining your abdominal connection and your spine in neutral. Try and avoid pinching the shoulders back and hyper elevating through the upper trapezius. Seated cross leg in this variation or sitting on the block is to enable those who struggle with long sit to be able to perform the exercise more efficiently. Externally rotate through your arms to bring the straps wide out to the side and the hands slightly back. Return the carriage back in, bringing the arms back to the start position. Exhale to externally rotate the humerus, slight retraction through the shoulder blades and keeping the palms up rather than gripping the straps allows a more easy transition into the external rotation of the shoulders. Try and avoid popping the ribs forward as the arms externally rotate. Avoid pinching and squeezing through the shoulder blades or allowing too much elevation in the scapula as you perform the exercise. This variation could be done in all the seated positions previously shown, as much as the spine and pelvis can stay in a neutral position. The ropes crossed adds more challenge to the tension you've got on the carriage. And we do the same movement pattern of external rotation through the arm bones, internally rotating to bring the hands back. Exhale to rotate and reach the arms out to the side, keeping the elbows close by the waist and inhale to return the arms back in front of you to the start position. Avoid the hyperextension through the low back, pinching of the shoulders or elevation, maintaining an upright position throughout the exercise. Keeping stable through the legs, pelvis and spine, externally rotate the humerus to reach the arms out to the side so the forearms stay in a level position. Return the carriage back, bringing the arms back to the start position, allowing internal rotation. Exhale as you rotate through into the external rotation, a slight retraction in the shoulder blades and return the carriage back on the inhale, spinning the humerus back into the parallel position. Keep the palms up as much as you can. If you need to, slightly wrap the fingers around the straps in this angle, that could be quite helpful. Maintaining the stability through the trunk and pelvis and legs, slowly allow the carriage to move as you rotate externally through the shoulder girdle, widening through the collarbones and bringing the hands outwards to the side. Return the carriage slowly back, bringing the arms back to the start position parallel in front. Exhale as you externally rotate and widen through the arms to bring the carriage forward, deepening the abdominals and stabilizers through the entire body 
and carefully return the arms back to the start without losing the connection through the body. 